I should build a, a military fort too. There's another deposit there, mining deposit. Completely didn't notice it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the worst road in the history of roads. The expedition has made a wonderful discovery, a peculiar, wide-eared marsupial. What shall we name it? <laughs> we just discovered the number of times you need to get hit by... There is a way around the real. What do I have in terms of my bank account? Oh. Not much. But I may as well get that mining lumber mill up. Should be our number one. Sorry, the the fort should be our number one uh, building, but oh well, it's already pretty much done. And we've almost run our won our third rager. Soldiers may be few in number. His Majesty personally inspected several reports from your colony and discovered a major oversight in your design. Some of your buildings are not working as effectively as expected. It seems your island has not figured out how to improve certain buildings. I sat with three other members of the research team. Sadly. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with... I'll just take the personal gift. I'll remove that edict. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. What are these other edicts that I have? Census. Well, tax urban development. Uh, okay. Oh, decreases. I thought it said increases. I guess I should. Build some new urban buildings. Okay, man, congratulations. Well done. You continue to amaze me. Now let's celebrate your success. You don't really need half the U.S. Army, pal. It actually consists of 37 volunteers at this point. That's all there is. A study was made recently showing the US, the, US Army, the U.S. Army is insignificant in size, smaller than even the Army of Bulgaria. This is why I took the liberty to provide you with a free military fort. Okay. Well, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. They won't build it for me? We, the people of Tropico, Demand the right to bear rams. Uh, wait, that's not right. There's a typo here. 
We need guns, lots of guns. How are we going to defend our liberty from the oppressed uh, oppression of tyrants? Issue the right to arms edict. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's high time that I left for the U.S., buddy. But before I go, I cannot help but acknowledge the many things I learned while staying on this beautiful island as your guest of honor. It is my greatest, uh, now my joy is greater. Not only because I learned a lot while admittedly being wrong on many issues, not because, uh, not only because I did have a great time losing wager after wager against you, but because I discovered a fully new friend in your esteemed self. I will always look forward to our next meeting with the greatest anticipation. Yours truly, U.S. President. That's it? That's all I had to do? Okay. Well, um... To the next one! My fellow Tropicans, today a new enemy rises to threaten my way of life, my freedom, and my strategic banana reserves. Without provocation, Ila Rojo has declared war on our great nation. Those now bastards. Now is not the time for fear, Tropico. We will face this threat head on, and we will endure. We will defend our shores, and we will endure. Like our llamas, we shall spit in the eye of any enemy that treads on our soil. We will endure! Viva Tropico! Okay. Adopt the Constitution. Where, where are the enemies that are attacking us? Is this them? No. That can't be them. I should build some new now I can build the house I think I'll stick with the country houses though because then I don't have to feed people they feed themselves it's brilliant oh my god your right to roll has expired. Oh my god, we're gonna get slaughtered. They have advanced modern weaponry. Pay for your sins. Ride in on the wind. I need my life. not expecting this. Well, it looks like we modernize our weaponry just a little bit too late. Personalized presidente death squads. Your right to roll has expired. You fight like wussy. Oh, this guy slaughtered us. We have a perfect business opportunity. We can make a huge profit off the misfortune of others. I love this stuff. 
both the allies and the axis are in need of uh, are in desperate need of supplies. This means we can large sell at a large profit and say and not say no. Sure. Now we have them right where we want them. Time for a little gouging. I really should see about getting myself a villainous laugh. Who the hell is she? Sure, we're not even using. I think we need to. Can we like restart this and make sure we modernize our weaponry at the very beginning? Okay. Now that we know what the hell we're doing, this will be uh, important. This time, hopefully, we'll do better. President these men taking so long to get here. Live to fight another day. I can't tell who's winning, but I think we're winning. If only they're, they're now they're finally making the, the dash into the battle. Ilarojo troops are attacking your newly independent country. This ridiculous conflict is undesirable. Put an end to it as soon as possible. The order enforced temporary ceasefire by your enemies from Ilarojo will attack again and again in, in full force until the moment the ceasefire ends. I'm oh, sorry, the moment the ceasefire ends. Um, I will do what I can to delay them while we prepare your defenses. My new apprentice, Adrina Diaz, will help you with this task. For the invasion, this is fire will hold for eight years. Okay. Ilarojo troops are attacking your newly in. Getting your asses kicked! <laughs> According to your newly appointed chief of staff, General Panultimo. <laughs> There is no better way to improve the defender's morale than sticking some flags in high places. I'm somewhat skeptical about the morale effect, but some new guard towers will surely help prove useful against an uh, invasion force. Alright. We have a perfect business opportunity. We can make a huge profit off the misfortune of others. I love this stuff. Okay. Export 5,000 gold. If you accept this task, the respect, respective offer from the allies will be cancelled. Oh, okay. So this one and... We have a perfect business opportunity. We can make a huge profit off Who the misfortune of others. Well, I don't even know if I have gold at all, so... You may as well... Have them explore the island a bit. There's a depot over here. Twenty thousand dollars worth of tropic and goods. What exactly do guard towers do? Oh, it engages enemy soldiers. Great.
who should we sell stuff to? I don't even have con to export or whatever that was. Yeah, there's nothing I can even export. I don't feel like importing anything either. I don't trust import uh, goods. to build a mine there. That's coal. There, now I can't be too far away from my road network. it there. So we're making a crap ton of money. I guess the real question is what we're going to do with it all. What new edicts do we have? Sovereign debt, manage the debt by tropical by issuing bonds, rum distilleries, smear campaign, early elections, agricultural subsidies. Should probably upgrade some of my buildings here. Our mentor Leon Kane taught me there is no such thing as excessive force when resolving a military conflict. Having a larger standing force, uh, having a larger standing army with an emphasis on armored vehicles will certainly sake the resolve of invaders. Army bases, huh? Research the tanks technology. Did I miss tanks? Oh no, there it is. I think I should build another library too. I don't know if that speeds up uh, research, but I'm gonna assume that it does. Oh, I'm just clicking on random buildings. I think I need to start moving towards this area.
I oh, haven't explored that area yet. Presidente, we didn't manage to get any research done. So, we decided to steal France's greatest achievements. Unfortunately, we broke into their museum of military accomplishments and all I found was <laughs> this white flag. It seems we will have to work on our diplomacy skills. <laughs> we should get a high school too. Can we build a garage like in the previous games to help people get around? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, that's something we should definitely go. Get some run exports going on here. Well, let's just hope they kind of have their own vehicles and are able to get around. Oh, oil deposit. Nice. All these goods, how come it's not adding to my money? My father used to say, ignorance is bliss. Thinking doesn't always come naturally. Sometimes you can write a novel well, uh, in one sitting, and sometimes just stand there staring at a blank page for hours. Fortunately, I have the perfect cure for writer's book. Vacation. Okay. Everywhere, Presidente. Leon Kane, our mentor, introduced me to some shady characters residing on Il Rojo that might just help our cause. If we provide the right incentive. Hmm. Okay. The order has its consequences.
I, I, I don't want to build the rose. Yeah, I definitely think we should uh, get a new construction office as well. Add it. Oh, I, can't, I was going to quick build it, but I forgot I spent all my money on that room distillery. What are we doing for? Approval rating. Ah, I remember my own high school years. I was an acne-covered menace back then. The head cheerleader once stole my jock boyfriend, Raul. So I made her eat her own pom-poms. Then I said to Raul, You can't dump me. I'll dump you. And promptly pushed him in a cesspit. Luckily, I've changed for the better since then. Okay, wow. Well, I guess our new radio host is a complete little psychopath. to make quite the journey to pick up the coal. Uranium. Wow. That sounds like it would fetch a pretty penny. My research indicates that the U.S. will soon be introducing a prohibition. Oh, well, I should definitely... Pick that up, considering I intend to have a rum distillery very shortly. We just definitely need some more citizens. Presidente, I hereby with to four require you on the habeas cojones to execute a writ with an ovation decreeing a peres to one penultimo, if I refer to as the penultimate party. Should you fail to comply, you shall thereby to four be nounced as a tortfeasor, and the tropical people shall be taught the language of legalese. All right. Political rights. Police state. One uh, Every policeman convinces one voter to vote for you. Security and peace are the privileges and priorities of the state, which has the right to perform all forms of censorship and control. To support these values, citizens who violate public norms set by the state will have the right to be censored. So I have police state, totalitarian state, and democracy. Elections will happen less often. Voter fraud gives you 300% more votes, 50% more rebels. Tropico is El Presidente, and El Presidente is Tropico. Attempts to express any other opinion are explicitly forbidden by law. Citizens have the right and obligation to report deviance of this norm, and uh, and others. Uh, uh, this norm performed by others and themselves. Democracy. The principle of democracy of the ruling state and its or democracy the principle is the ruling principle of the state and its institutions to guarantee the prevention of misinterpretations of the here herein before mentioned democracy the constitutional right uh, acts the exclusive right to interpret herein before mentioned by the term to el presidente i think we'll stick with police state right now labor policy work for all child labor and late retirement life expectancy and job happiness reduced all citizens who happen to reach the age of 